Hello everyone, I just found this awesome AI platform called Yoer and it's honestly mind-blowing. With Yoer, you can create a full website just by typing a prompt, describe what you want, hit enter, and your site is live. That is super cool. As you can see in here, you can just type in create me a landing page or something like that and just hit enter, your site is live. That's amazing. And of course, you can upload any file, a screenshot for any website you want. And of course, that also works. And the beauty about this is, as you can see right here, there's the MCP tools. If I click that, there's a lot of tools that we can integrate with UR basically. The first is Figma, as you can see here. So basically, uh, I'm going to show you right here. So this design Figma, I'm going to copy and paste the design to this input field and then make that live using this UR. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, we can use Figma connecting with Uware. You can connecting your Notion as well, GitHub, Superbase, YouTube. There's a lot of things. You can connecting Unsplash to basically search any high quality images and etc. There's a lot of things. And also uh, there's uh, another tab right here, upload. So basically you can upload a HTML, CSS, and JavaScript file to make your code live. And not just file, you can also upload a folder bundle of your project, upload it and make it live. And if you just have really simple code, just paste the code right here, click save it and your code will live as a website. And before we create any website with this UR, the first thing is I'm going to show you the real example project that built in using the UR, as you can see in here. So it's Pokemon game. You can create something like this with UR basically. That's super cool. There's also weather dashboard and this is works basically. Super nice. There's a racing game interface as you can see in here. It is super cool basically. You can change the color of the car right here, right? Amazing, make it black, make it blue. And also I can drag it like this. So maybe I wanna see the front of the car like this. That is amazing. So there is another tool called PDF Until Pro. It is basically built in using UR as well. As you can see, I can upload a file, a image or PDF file. So I can convert the image to PDF, PDF to image, modify. I can merge the PDF, split the PDF, compress and delete and etc. And also there is a game right here, 3D game. That is amazing. As you can see, I can move my cursor and the airplane is just move. That's cool. I'm going to show you first is how we can create a website using simple prompt. As you can see in here, we are on the create, right? In this input field, we can just type in anything you want. In this case, I'm going to say create a modern personal portfolio website for a front-end web developer named Chan. So let's try to click this enter and see how this UR can do the job. All right, as you can see, the portfolio is generated. On the top right here, we have the navigation. We have home, about, skill, project, and contact. So let's try to click the about. I hope the navigation is works. Here we go. That's smooth. It works pretty nice. So let's try to see. We have this, hi, I am Chan, and also the about me, my skill, and future project, and also the contact section. So let's try to see the um, responsive. I'm going to click this, and as you can see, it is also responsive pretty nice let's try to for example i'm going to change the text right here view my work i'm going to change that to hire me for example so how do we do that because we cannot see the code right how we can change the text right here so anyway there's a button called select right here you can click that and then just select any things that you want to change for example this button i'm going to click that and now as you can see this button is a right and we can describe what we want to change in here. So for example, change the text um, into hire me like this. And also make sure after I click that button should be go to the contact section. Okay, so let's try to click this one. And as you can see now it's loading and just wait until that's done. All right, so as you can see, now it's updated. Now we have this hire me button. So let's try to click that. And now we on the contact section. That's beautiful, right? That's how we can change any element, any component in here that you can change using this select basically. And also there is one button that I'm gonna show you. This is really cool. It's called boost right here. So let's try to click that. 
And as you can see, it's loading. Let's try to wait. All right, it's done. So now as you can see, the project is looks super nice. I'm going to refresh this portfolio. As you can see, that's super clean, right? We have that animation, super nice. If I scroll, as you can see, we also have that animation if I scroll. On this card, when I hover that also, as you can see, there's a border animation as well. Super nice. Let me scroll down. Looks super clean, right? That's super clean. Let's try to click this hire me. Still working. Everything's still working. And yeah, you can use that boost button right here to make your website more and more better. So let's try to click this publish button right here. I'm going to click publish and let's see what we have. As you can see, this is the link. So I can use this link and share to anyone on the world basically. So let's open on the browser right here. Let's open it. And as you can see, the website is just live right now. So, and of course you can use this link right here. I'm going to put the link on the description so you can just try the link, right? Everything looking so smooth and yeah, of course this is going to be responsive and here you go, right? Super nice. So next I'm going to show you how we can make this design, fix my design here into the live website. So the way we do that is we're going to use MCP tools, right? And we're going to use this Figma right here. So this is basically token required. That means we have to put um, Figma token in this MCP tools. So let's click the plus icon right here. This is the way we get the token basically. Super simple. Let's go back into the Figma. And as you can see on the top left right here, we have that icon, right? The user icon. I'm going to click that. Click settings. Go to security. And then click this generate new token. Click that. And then you can give any name you want. I'm going to say you were um, MCP or just give any name you want. And also, as you can see down here, uh, we can basically make this read only in the current user, dev resource, file content, and etc. Just follow all this step and you're good to go, right? So let's go back in here. And the current user, I'm going to set that to read only, read only, this read only. And then the file version also read only. And then the next thing is the project. So the project, I want to set that to read only as well. So let's click generate token. And as you can see, this is my token. I'm going to make that blur, of course. So let's just copy this token and then go back to the UR. And then what we're going to do next is just paste the token on the top right here paste that and then click save all right this is successful let's try to go back to the ui and what i'm going to do let's try to copy the let me see right here use copy link to selection let's go back and then click this ui click right and then copy a link to selection click that so now i'm going to use that in here so just make sure the mcp is selected on the figma and now just paste this link just like that and just hit enter and the AI will do the rest for you. As you can see, this is the result. It's super nice. We have the tags right here on the left. We have the image right here. It's Donald from the Figma, basically. It's super cool. We also have the survey section here. The image is too small, the logo right here. We have testimonial as well. So anyway, if you open the Figma design in here, it's kind of like different, right? It's not 100% same with the AI that generated in here, but you always can go back to this um, input field and asking AI to make that better. So for example, you want to change the logo here to make it um, more bigger. You can also click select right here, right? Just click that, click whatever element you want, click that. And here you can say AI to make this more bigger, just like that. Or if you want to, for example, put the background like this one right here, you can just export this image as a, a file, right? And you can go back right here, can upload the file and you can just select to this, uh, you can select to this section right here. You can asking AI to use this image to be background, for example, right? That's basically, you can always go back to the AI and 
make your website super super cool and after everything is done you can just click this publish and your website will be live and you can share to anyone on the world so i hope this video useful and thank you so much for watching see you guys on the next one